Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of My Player Career Mode and we're going to jump straight into game today when we take on Everton for the first of the games to come. But first, got to show you how England did when we, well, we didn't actually play the games. We ended up going on to sim both of these in the Euro European Championship qualifiers, <laughs> if I can get it out. 4-0 against Austria and a 2-2 draw against Scotland, which leaves them top of their qualifying group thus far. Today, though, our focus is Premier League football with Arsenal trying to make sure we get our hands on our first Premier League trophy. We're top of the table alongside Manchester United. Both of us currently on the same points, but we jump into game against Everton, hoping to get the three points to kickstart today's episode off. So without further ado, that is the side that we will be playing in the first game. Let's jump into this and try and grab ourselves the three points and also maybe a goal or two. Another look at the league table very quickly for you guys. And you can see seven wins, one defeat. But we're still unsure as to where that defeat has come from. Because according to the calendar, we've won every game. A few of you thought it might have been Chelsea uh, in the comment section. Saying that when we when it come up saying 1-0 win against Chelsea, you guys are thinking maybe that was Chelsea winning the game. I'm still unsure. I don't know where enough that loss came from. But we'll play on regardless. It could have been eight wins from eight. Here is how the Arsenal team lines up. Of course, you've seen that. So we will wait for Everton's. And here is how Everton line up then. Onana in goal. Pavard, Tolio, Mina and Dinier at the back. Not a bad back four that. Schneidlin and Eric Dyer in the midfield. Surprised to see Eric Dyer here. Blas Dowell and Lukman as the three behind the striker. That is Mariano on his own up top. On the bench, Aubameyang against his former club. Quite interesting to see him potentially coming on today if he does make an appearance. But we're ready to get ourselves in this one and uh, continue our good form. Shot, lovely play immediately from Arsenal and that's going to be one. Too easy. Already after two minutes into the game, Arsenal won Everton nil. Stepped off, we just stepped to the edge of the area and we just literally pick up the ball, curl it top bins, the DJ Wood special. It's become somewhat of a, uh, a thing on the channel now. There is Shop inside, look at the defence, stepping off us, allowing too much time. Two minutes into the game, Arsenal won Everton nil. Jeez, not great defending Pavard. And I think, I don't know who actually was the other man there who uh, who should have blocked it. But obviously Emery's going to be happy on the touchline. We've already got a goal. It's only three minutes into today's episode. Dream start. Granite Xhaka hits the ball line for us to chase. 16 minutes on the clock. Looking for number two if we can get it here. Dink inside. Unfortunately, it's well defended. But he falls to Alexander-Arnold. He gets the shot away. And Onana will catch it gladly in his hands. It wasn't a great finish from Alexander-Arnold by any means. Didn't get it in the corner as he probably would have hoped. But you can see we can run the channels here today against Everton like we like to do on occasions. If I'm not getting much luck down the middle, might have to just keep going down the wings. Here is Awobi. Still Alex Awobi looking through for four nows who made the run. Awobi unable to find him with his pass though. Mariano flicks that down to Lookman. It's good defending though from Arsenal. Get back very quickly behind the ball. But Adam on a Lookman, look at that from him. Beating Alexander-Arnold. Has he got the chance to put the cross in, though, is the question. Still, Lookman, why is he playing it back? He did the hard job. See, that is that is where Everton have to put the cross in. Lookman does us. We then are, are in a bit of a, a problem. And instead of putting a cross in, they decide they're just going to cut it back and waste their opportunity. It's got to be better from them. Two minutes added time here at the Emirates. And Blast trying to get Everton back in the game. But for the most part, this first half, they've not offered too much going forward. There was that moment when uh, Lookman got down the left where he should have put the cross in and they wasted their chance. That's the only opportunity they've really had. You can see not a lot of quality this game, but at halftime, Arsenal have the lead and it's courtesy of our strike inside the first few minutes. We're going to need to improve a lot if we're to hold on to this because you do feel that Everton will eventually create. And I'd like to think we should be able to defend, but you never know. Nice ball. Schneidlin's going to get the shot away. And there is the first shot of the game for Everton. He's come from their captain, but he balloons it over the crossbar. Four Niles is coming off. And that's the first change of the game from Unai Emery. But that was a horrific effort from Schneidlin. All things considered, that was their first opportunity. Oh, this is a chance, this. Xhaka sent us through. Granite Xhaka plays it in. Too heavy a touch. I knew as soon as I touched it, I'd taken too heavy. But it was on the right foot, so I wanted to get a bit of... Um, a bit of a gap between me and the on-running defender. And in doing so, I took way too heavy a touch and allowed Onana to come out and just collect it. That's what I'm talking about. That has to be a better first touch from me there. And it's going to be 2-0. Miri sends it down the right. Yerry Mina coming over to keeper's company. And he's been turned inside out with ease. In towards the box. Left-footed shot. Beating at your near post is Onana. 2-0 Arsenal. Game set and match. 
You do not get beaten at your near post like that. See you later, Yeri Mina. We drove inside. The touch was pretty heavy, but that was to give me the opportunity to really weigh up my options. At that point, there was one thought, and that was try and smash this in the top corner near post, which is exactly what happened. I've got a feeling that Onana was maybe expecting us to go, obviously, with a finesse shot across him, because that would have been the finish that people were expecting from us. But my, my instinct was to smash that near post, and luckily it's worked out. 2 0 up. And there's now the full time whistle then. Arsenal 2, Everton 0, the full time score from the Emirates. Another win as Arsenal continue good form into this one. So, uh, what is that? Ninth, eighth win on the bounce? Um, well, it would be nine, but we don't know, of course, where that 1 0 has gone <laughs> or wherever it is, whichever result happened, the loss. So. Eighth win on the balance, I guess you could say. Um, and it's just pretty crazy to see how well we are performing. Two goals for us there as well. Not too bad. We're supposed to be playing Thursday, Saturday right now, which is a little bit ridiculous. So we're going to play against Copenhagen away. But I might have to ask for a change in the Europa League because, yeah, we've got a Saturday game against Burnley in the league. So I don't know why the game has been, you know, penciled in so close to one another. So that is the side that we're going to go with. Like I said, I will be asking for a change during this game, though. So I'm fully fit, ready for Burnley. And I mean, what is that? Thursday. So we've got Friday to recover and then we're playing again. It's not a lot of time. Copenhagen, the only side in the group not to have picked up a single point yet. Two of us sat on four, which is us and Poznan, possibly. I'm not sure entirely. Um, but all I know is that Copenhagen are yet to pick up a point. So... Important game for them today. We'll see how we play as well. We've got a free kick. Early doors. You know what's on my mind, right? It's to try and send this in. But the problem is, it's so far out. I'd have to catch this near perfectly. Which we somewhat kind of got behind it. But not enough to send it in the, the top corner. Keeper had it covered all day. When Doozy sends it. I just tried to spin and shoot because right now we are not having a good time of things. Watching Arsenal in this Europa League is like watching a different team to when we play in the Prem. Seriously is. Um, I don't know what, what, what difference it is. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just not quite there yet in terms of performance. Again, as an opening 30 goes, this has not been great. We win the flick in towards the box. It's come back. Too many one-touches. Why, why are we taking too many passes, too many one-touches? We waste so many opportunities here. We should win that header and do. There's a ball to be played, but I can't even hit that. I don't know what I'm doing here. Shot. Amiri's header. Bounces down. Indeed, he smashes it over the top of the crossbar. Still nil-nil after 65 minutes. I'm not even going to ask to come off. I think I'll just have to play the Burnley game a little bit on fitness. So, because we do need a goal. No service. So, how do you counter that? You have to drop deeper to receive the ball, but then there's nobody up there when the ball gets played up. So, it's like a never-ending cycle of you just getting screwed. Xhaka is now on for Gwendouzi, though. So maybe that's the creative spark that we possibly need. Amiri trying to turn away. Find Awobi. Can we get a chance now, though? Awobi in the fullback. No, giving away straight away. Come on. Awobi steals it back. Amiri. Why did he wait so long? I sent it through. And I've wasted the opportunity on the right foot. Ugh, that's what I'm talking about. Why is he waiting so long? Took way too much time. And at that point... The defender got across. I had to take it first time. I didn't have an op opportunity to pull it back like I wanted to do. I have to blame myself because the, the shot was horrific. Let's face that. But we're not going to get a better chance than that this game. See, Iwobi had to send that pass through. He passed it backwards with 15 seconds to go on the clock. So the referee then blew his whistle. If he'd have played the ball through like I asked for the 1-2 that time, we might have got away with the ref not blowing his whistle. But that is the end of the game. A game that lacks serial quality. And to say that I'm unhappy is an understatement. I don't know what, what it is, but when we go into the Europa League, it's like watching a different side entirely. Um, that's not good enough to say the least. And Fiorentina smashed Poznan in their game by four goals to nil as well. So I believe that puts Fiorentina to the top of the table. Ain't good, but our focus is Premier League football. Second focus, Europa League. We're playing this game straight after. A day's rest between games. And we didn't even score in that one, so it's fairly pointless to even staying on. Taking on Burnley, though, at Turf Moor. I mean, I'm, I'm actually not that bad in terms of fitness, so fair enough. But yeah, I can't believe we drew another game 0-0. We've got to put that Europa League game to the back of our minds now and get back to good form here against Burnley. We're underway at Turf Moor. I'm not even sure how this game's going to go, but we will find out after 90 minutes of football. Will it be another draw? Will we get a win? Or are we going to fall to a defeat? It'll be our first defeat since we joined the club um, of the season. Obviously not ideal. We've won every game since we've been here, so I'm hoping to continue that. Shot, sends us in. It's going to have to be right-footed. Try and think the keeper. He's come out. 
Oh, it's a brilliant finish as well. Eight minutes on the clock and we have got the breakthrough. Why are we so good in the Premier League but so poor in the Europa League? I don't even know. That finish is quality though. Keeper came a long, long way and we had to just chip it over the top of him and send it in the back of the net. And it is poor, you have to say that too. But it's a good finish from us by all accounts. I've just noticed as well, Colin Bramall has started at left back for this game. Slightly concerned with that one. Is it, It's Heaton in goal. Heaton is the Burnley number one here. So, oh, to beat him like that, take some doing. And we've managed to do it. Lovely finish. Ran down the channel again like we sometimes do. Cut it back inside. Nowhere to go. So it's all about keeping hold of the ball. And we've done that brilliantly. Shot. Trying to get us forward too. Bramall again on the left-hand side. Not sure what the cutback was, but we still should have possession. As it's Belek picking up the ball. You can see there's a lot of uh, fresh faces. Well, not like fresh faces to Arsenal, but to us indeed in the side. Belek today. Bramall again. El Elneny, I'm not sure, has played with us so far. Quite a few new ones. El Elneny. Ball inside. Xhaka. Four nows. Four nows to Xhaka. Xhaka to us. Chance to hit it on the left. Just tried to get the shot away, really. I didn't want to waste time. That's brilliant from Xhaka. Should have scored. Oh, I've wasted another chance. Missed a big one against Copenhagen. And I oh, lashed at this one. It's poorly hit. And we should be finishing those off. It should be two. Here is Elneny sending the, the ball again. You can see we have a lot of bodies forward looking for our second goal. Xhaka in towards us. Try to hit the uh, finesse shot. Shot for inside. Get there before the keeper. We can, but we've put it wide. Of course we have. It wouldn't be an episode today without us wasting chances. Tell me you got a touch on this. Tell me it's a corner, but oh my. <sighs> Remains 1-0, but we aren't for the want of trying. And I am wasting so many chances today. Darian Matz ball. Chance for Martinez and Leno catches. First sign of life from Berlin. It could have so easily been an equaliser. We need to find the second goal to put the game to bed. Kimmich, shot, 83 minutes on the clock. Still looking to go forward. Back we go. It's come towards Elneny. And now needs to Zivkovic and it's two. And we have got the second goal that will find us the three points, hopefully. Putting the game to bed. It wasn't easy to do that, but that was a brilliant move. And at first I thought Zivkovic would put it wide. It was only as I saw the ball nestle in the back of the net that I realised it had actually gone in. Because if you look at it, the ball kind of stays there. Like it's actually not bounced in. There's a weird finish. You can see right here. At first, I thought it had gone wide, but turns out it is in the back of the net. Zivkovic has scored, and it is Arsenal who have a second goal. Miss hit it a little bit, didn't he? But doesn't matter how it goes in, provided that it does go in. think we might be off here. I think we might be getting sent off. Well, only a yellow card. I think that was a red card, personally, but hey, oh, listen... 2-0 win against Burnley. That was just frustration from me because I've been poor today. That's... I don't know what's wrong with us. Why are we played so badly? We wasted a chance against Copenhagen. A couple of chances here for us to grab another one. You know, got to be finishing these off. These are easy finishes for us. Especially the one against Copenhagen. You know, I should be scoring those. Shouldn't be missing from there. But a 2-0 win against Burnley at Turf Moor. Continues a winning run in the Premier League. And at the minute... We look unstoppable in that. It's the Europa League where things are going poor for us. A 1-0 win against Palace in the Carabao Cup. Round of 16 finishes that off, which is obviously good for the boys, but I didn't actually play in it. We've got Huddersfield at home next. I think more importantly, we just need to focus on keeping this form going. 10 games in, 27 points. It's going to be the final game of today's episode, Huddersfield. So we'll jump into that and see if we can get the win. And provided we do get the win, I also want to score a couple of goals as well, please. So, service needs to be there today. It was there last time, to be fair. I just completely wasted my chances. So, I can't afford to do that here today at the Emirates. Let's get the final game of the episode into it, should we? Here is Van Lapara for Huddersfield. Don't even say they're going to score in the first couple of minutes. Enrique clears away. Aaron Moy in the loose ball, though. Finds pain. He's trying to put another cross in. It should be cleared away by Joshua Kimmich. It is. Shop sends the ball to... Oh, Shop. What is that pass? Don't even know. Aaron Moy splits the play again. Moy's got a really good eye, hasn't he, in terms of passing. That's a great ball. And Payne's going to... Good save, Leno. I was about to say Payne's going to score. Leno saves it, though. He's already got his feel with a chance. I mean, not a great start to the game, has it? Oh, my jeez. What was that? Now we're doing it. Like... Wow, we got away with that. That was really, really poor. Shop sends it down. Rodriguez is the man chasing us back. We have the pace to beat him. We're into the box, though. Can we find a cutback? There is the pass across. Got to be a goal, it is. 
32 minutes on the clock. We find the first goal. I believe it's Takuma Asano as well, who's had a poor first half by all accounts here, but he's going to be on the score sheet. I think we have to take some credit for it, though, for the creation of the goal. Just use our pace to get down the right-hand side and then find the cut back with the left foot. You can see we took our time, waited to see what was available. There it was, and Asano finishes it in the bottom corner quite confidently as well. But after 33 minutes, Huddersfield have actually probably been the better side. And that's... We've not had a lot of quality, but the, the bits at the moment in the game where you kind of thought maybe they're going to actually get a chance. It's been all Huddersfield, to be fair. One, two, with four, Niles, and we lay it off towards Schopf, who's going to carry it forward. Schopf still dragged back onto the edge of the area. We're waiting for it. I tried to then find the finish. Again, did the right thing, pulling the ball back on the left foot and waiting for it. There's Schopf again. Nice little one side. Oh, what a touch from Aaron Moy. That should have been two. Aaron Moy gets a toe on it. And it's enough to keep it away. About to go into half time, but Bakuna's on the edge of the Arsenal penalty area. And he's unable to find the cross. Feels like it's been a very, very low scoring episode so far. And that is actually the case. Even though I don't feel like we've done too much to get in front, we always seem to just find the goal that we need. It's kind of strange. We could have had another one, if not for the great toe of Aaron Moy. I think that's what I'm going to rename it. There should be like a, a monument somewhere called the great toe of Aaron Moy. How about in Huddersfield, right? But yeah, without his toe getting there, it would have been two. Masterful work between us and Mohamed El Nenny as we drive forward with pace again. Looking for another one, potentially. It's looking for number two. Can we find the cutback again? So, so unfortunate, but he's falling for Asano. Gets it off. He's still come towards us. We've got a chance on the edge of the area to find the shot. Oh, he's come off the inside of the post. Are you joking? We deserve to finish after that. I can't believe we've not got it. Oh, easy. Easy as you like. We're going to get the shot away as well. It's deflected. I just want to try and get a goal. I'm not going to lie. That, that's, that's all I want. That's why I'm going for it. I know the win's pretty much in the bag at 92 minutes. So it's just trying to get myself a chance. We've well, had a couple of, obviously, the one that hit the crossbar. or oh, the post, didn't it? That alone shows you why, when you put the cross in, are we kicking that ball backwards? That's what I'm saying. Why is it so negative? Anyways, it is the 1-0 win. It has not been a great episode in terms of performances today because we haven't been able to really get going. You can see we lacked a lot of quality again, not for the first time. But as long as we keep winning whilst lacking quality, I won't really mind. We did this at Chelsea, remember? We had a patch where we really didn't play too well in terms of as a team. And not only that, we weren't getting results either. So there was that problem. But you can see the Europa League group looks very interesting indeed ahead of next episode. When you're watching this, I am currently on my level two course, so I apologize if I'm not around to answer comments or anything like that. Um, just a quick heads up as well. It should be Friday for you watching this. There will be no video tomorrow. I am pretty much, I guess, just so busy with the current thing that's going on in the, the level two side of things. But the video should return back from Sunday, just to let you guys know. So yeah, that's it from me for today though. And I will see you all again Sunday with another video. Until then, guys, thank you all for your continued support on the channel. I really appreciate it. You guys are incredible for everything you do for me and the channel, as I always say. And if you are new around here and like what you see, the subscribe button is down below. That is how the league table currently looks ending off today's episode. Have a great weekend, guys, and I'll see you all again on Sunday. Until then, adios.